Hello there. This video will mark a series of videos that I'm going to do uh, on soaps that I consider to be particular values or particularly uh, wise choices, uh, soaps that I think give you a lot of bang for the buck, that kind of deal. Uh, it's important to understand that uh, I'm not talking about, you know, cheap soaps. It's not about all about money, although there are going to be some cheap soaps, some cheaper type soaps. Uh, but uh, it's about the quality of the soap, the quality of the shave. Uh, some it might sometimes be about post shave. Just uh, whatever soap it is that I use, there will be a particular reason that I consider this soap to be a good value for your money. So tonight. Uh, our uh, brush is going to be my Simpson P8 or Phil 8 and Best Badger. We're going to set it here and let it soak a bit. And uh, the soap today, and I put it in a different container, so, but it's Mitchell's Wool Fat. And I've used this puck two years. Let me pour this off of here and let you see. I've used this puck for two years, and I don't skimp on my lather. I don't skimp on loading a brush, anything like that. And that thing, that's all that I've used of it. So it's a triple milled soap, and so I consider that quality uh, particularly to be something that rates this soap high for me is that it it lasts a very long time for a very small outlet uh, so excuse me let's go ahead and move on down and we'll begin to shave and i'll talk a bit more you know i'll talk a bit more but anyway let's go ahead and go down here and But anyway, Mitchell's lasts a really long time, and it's like 13 bucks or so, somewhere around that, for the uh, for the uh, refill puck, which is what I have here, and it's just a fantastic soap. It's nice and slick. Has the it's a lanolin. It has a lot of lanolin in it. Uh, that's it's uh, one of the things that makes it such a good soap. Is the lanolin content in it? It gives it a wonderful post shave. But you see, I don't, I don't baby Mitchell's whatsoever. And that post. You know, very few shaving products are going to last a couple of years like that. And be that will last me another two or three years. That's easy. So, and it, it has a wonderful post shave. The lather's nice and slick. It's wonderfully hydrating. My face feels fantastic. Uh, during and after the shave, uh, it's got a nice, pleasant scent. It's just, it's a classic. Uh, a lot of people love it and swear by it, and it's been around for decades. The gentleman that makes it, because most people think it's a uh, commercial soap, and it really is, and if you actually look at the place that it's built, it's just built in a little small brick building, and I don't know how many employees they got, but I'm thinking 20 or 30 tops, if that many. Don't know for sure, I just know that it's not, and look how easy it lathers. People, some people say, 
Did you have a hard time lathering Mitchells? Uh, I ended up doing it on hard wire and all kinds of things. When I first started making shaving videos, I had water that was so hard you couldn't make shampoo lather. Okay. And I got Mitchell's wool fat. I never had a lick of trouble lathering it. Okay. And then my landlord put in a water softener about a, a year and a half ago, maybe something like that. And I never noticed a dime's worth of difference in the way Mitchell's lathered for me. Now, part of it might be that you see how I loaded the brush. And a lot of people want to skimp on soap, and then they blame the soap when it doesn't lather. Uh, and I'm not, look, I'm not discounting that some people have trouble with it, and it's a genuine problem. But there are issues that I've noticed on the shaving forums and on the shaving, in the shaving community for a long time. People that want to swirl or brush on the top of a pup for 15 seconds and call it good, and well, the soap don't work. Well, no, because you didn't get enough soap in your brush. You know, you spent all that money on a soap. You know, put enough in your brush to do good with it. But anyway, I've not had a lick of trouble with with, with Mitchell's wool fat. And uh, oh, by the way, lovely right there. Anyway. I'm using my Christopher Johnson near wedge. It's a French point, lovely razor. Anyway, uh, for me, it's a fantastic sub and many many other people as well and I think it's a really fantastic value at $13 refill plus if you want the, the ceramic container and stuff like that go ahead and pay that price if that's what you want you can reuse it so I don't have a big deal with that but this right here is enough of a glass like container for me and it works really well and uh, the soap's fantastic so friend and I was talking earlier this morning. Fall is here. My favorite time of year. That's a beautiful shade, man. Fantastic razor. But anyway, Fall is here. Not too hot, not too cold. Perfect weather. Uh, I'd love to find a, well, starting to say I'd love to find a place that's like this year round, but let, you know, who's kidding who? Uh, I'm not moving away from Virginia. It's not happening, so. Uh, but, and I'm, that's something, it's a little tip between passes. If you just kind of refresh your lather a little, mix it a little bit more, that kind of deal. A lot of times you'll get a better shave, a better second or third pass, depending on how many you do but I mean if you look 
with the lather that's in that brush, the lather that's left in my bowl. It's soap, folks. Uh, if you're paying $40, $50 for a puck of soap, if you can afford it, that's fine. <clears throat> and I have some expensive soaps, but well, one fairly expensive soap anyway. But you don't have to have that to get a good shave. And I'd rather use products that are modestly or moderately priced. Where I know that I can use enough soap that I ain't got to worry about getting a good lather. You know, there's a lot of times when we see, I don't get bad shaving. Sorry, I haven't had a bad shave in so long, I don't know what one is. Sorry. But I don't. There's a reason for that. First of all, I have my technique down, whether it's shaving or making lather or whatever it is you want to talk about. And that comes from with time on a razor and a brush. But The main reason that I don't have problems and I always get a good shave beautiful. It's because I set myself up for success and what do I mean by that? Well, you just saw me make lather okay i don't skimp soap i don't do it i use enough soap that i know i'm going to get a fantastic lather when i begin to make lather that's number one cold water in it. number two it's it's just i pay attention to the shave and if i pick up a razor and go to use it and make a couple of passes and I realize that uh, the razor's dull I get another one same thing for a DE or an SE blade if I, I don't uh, push a blade past its prime uh, I don't push a, I don't try to finish a shave if I got a dull blade if my if there's something wrong with the edge and I can feel something kind of toothy or or anything i stop and fix what's wrong and finish my shave uh, i'm going to use barbasol brisk as an aftershave uh, this is also in my opinion a, a fantastic value uh, one of the best aftershaves that i have period anyway it's whatever you have to do Man, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Man, I love that stuff. Anyway, to get a good shave. You know, if, if you're buying products that cost so much that you can't afford to use them to their best ability, stop doing that. 
Or if you're buying regular everyday products, you're paying seven dollars for a soap and you don't want to waste it. Come on, a puck of razor rock, a, a tub of razor rock, a tub of uh, 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 tobs at like 15, 16 bucks. And oh, I don't want to use. Give me a break, dude. Use what you need to get a good shave. If you can't afford that kind of stuff, then buy the lower priced uh, products. There's plenty of them out there. Razor Rock is a prime example of $7 soaps. And Italian Barber sells soaps for like 3 bucks sometimes. You know, some of their brands. And, and they're, they're good. It's good soap. So, I mean, Ray Pope just gave away one or two tubs of them, of it, uh, of Italian Barber soap two or three days ago. So, I mean... Three bucks? You can find products out there that are that you can afford to take and use them the way they're supposed to. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. My opinion. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. It's a waste of money. Uh, listen, if you buy, if you spend twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars on a puck of soap, and that's hard for you. It, Twenty-five bucks is a lot of money. Twenty bucks is a lot of money for a soap for me, unless it's six or eight ounces, okay? And or or it's a hard triple milled puck, something like that, like Mitchell's is, or something like that, okay? If you spend that money, and you or like, well, I don't want to waste the soap, and you don't load the soap enough, load the brush enough to get a decent lather, then you've wasted your money. Yeah, the soap will last uh, for a long time, uh, but you'll get mediocre, crappy shaves out of it. And I've sung this tune over and over again. You guys know me. But, I mean, that's the deal. You want good shaves? Put in the time to have good shaves. Do what it takes to get a good shave. I get great shaves. That was a fantastic shave. My razor sharp. I got enough soap in my brush. I got a good aftershave. What more do you want? I got you guys. Hey, life's good. All right, God bless you. I'll talk to you later. Mitchell's Wool Fat. Classic soap. Fantastic bargain. Bless you. Later.